Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at the Rodgers injury details. My bad. Okay, so... Oh, we actually got a doctor. That same doctor that y'all remember that was in the uh, NBA playoffs. This evening, Aaron Rodgers suffered an injury against the Buffalo Bills. And in this video, we're going to dive into what I think So he's going to explain. This guy's an actual a sports doctor. So he's going to explain everything and the injury and how long it's going to take. So Jets fans start uh, probably listen Welcome up. back, everybody. I'm Dr. Brian Suter. And my goal in this channel is to help teach you about the medical side of the sports world. So if sports injuries and anatomy and that sort of thing interests you, then please consider subscribing to stay up to date and support the channel. Let's dive right into this. And at the time of recording, there's about 13 minutes left in the second quarter. We've heard that Rodgers is officially questionable to return and they're calling it an ankle injury. So what do I see on this play? What would I be thinking about? Well, number one, I think we're dealing with the left leg. I don't really see anything abnormal with the right. And so until we hear otherwise, I think we got to focus on this left calf. As he plants here, I want you to see how in this frame, everything is pretty taut in the back of his calf. We can see these little contours. That's going to be his calf musculature. His foot is anchored and planted on the ground. And then as I advance a couple of frames, we see everything just kind of release. And it's right there in that release where I'm worried he might have suffered a significant calf injury, potentially even an Achilles injury because the foot is still planted. There should still be load and tension through these muscles, but we see everything just kind of give and release as he goes down to the ground. Now, just because we see this snap doesn't mean that it has to be an Achilles rupture. You have a third often forgotten muscle of the Achilles complex called the plantaris, and the plantaris can rupture, it can pop, it can feel like an Achilles injury. That might even be the little bit of contour that we're seeing right there in the middle of the back of the calf. And if that ruptures, it's not a big deal. It's not really a functional muscle. It certainly is not gonna put anybody out for an extended period of time. So my hope is maybe that's all we're seeing here. But this position, his ankle is dorsiflexed, meaning the foot is pointed upwards. The calf is gonna be loaded. He gets driven down and there's a stretch in the back of the calf that certainly could put somebody at risk of something like an Achilles injury. And we've all, of course, seen that dreaded snap, that kind of pop where everything almost recoils higher up in the leg. If his foot had come off the ground before this, I would say, well, the muscle tension was just released. That would be expected. But the heel is still planted when we almost see that release of the energy. Another important view to look at here, just because initially I was wondering about a foot because all I saw was this first view. If we look at how his left foot is planted into the ground, he then kind of comes and on this step right here, now this is after we've seen that kind of pop in the back of the calf. Look how awkwardly his foot gets twisted. This kind of loading position of the foot almost looks to me like potential Liz Frank when we see that load through a plantar flexed load going through the midfoot. But the pop had happened before this in the back of the calf. So I think if this ends up coming out and sometimes ankle versus foot, we kind of lose sight of all this. I would wonder about the Liz Frank in his foot just from this awkward sort of twist that he has on his ankle. But again, this initial kind of pop that we see in the back, I'll walk through it again. Foot goes down, ankle gets forced up into dorsiflexion that stretches everything on the back side of the leg. We see initial tension right there. And then as we go a couple frames later, the foot is still loaded, the heel is still on the ground, but we see everything sort of release, suggesting to me that there's a high chance that there's been some type of injury to the back of the leg here, whether it was just a high grade calf strain or something more significant like an Achilles. Don't forget wow. about that plantaris <laughs> muscle though, because that can be involved and can isolate. Y'all pray for Aaron Rodgers, man. And not I at know all. Y'all in the chat was saying that uh, apparently he tore his Achilles when they got the update. I'll, um, let me see if I can find something on Google. But uh, he was able to explain basically the in depth of that injury. Oh my fucking gosh, man. Please play for Aaron. Pr uh, pray. Uh, for Aaron Rodgers. Damn it, man. I just looked this up on Google, bro. Look at this article right here. Aaron Rodgers has torn his Achilles tendon, and he is out for the entire 2024 season. Damn it, man. Hey, man. Pray for Aaron Rodgers, man, because you don't know. Aaron Rodgers is actually up there in age, too, and I feel like this is definitely one of the seasons that he definitely needed to, you know, uh, you know, still show people that he is a star quarterback still in this uh, NFL game. Damn, that sucks, man. Uh, hopefully he can get better and everything. Uh, prayers for speedy recovery. Alrighty. Uh, what are we going on next? You think he's going to retire? Mm, I don't know. 